Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. Let me give you an update on the garden and uh, tell you what's in it. Uh, I didn't do that last time because I wasn't exactly sure how many and what types are going to go in. But uh, let's start on the not as spicy side here. There's a section that's basically not spicy at all. There are bell peppers and uh, sweet peppers in here, but I'm not going to go over those. Um, I might in a later video, we'll see. Here, let's start off with the slicey spice, and I think I described this a bit in another video. Basically, it's a, uh, a hybrid jalapeno. They're supposed to grow a little bit bigger than your typical jalapenos, and this plant is supposed to be pretty pro prolific. Let's move over here to the uh, seedlings. These, that right there, that right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there's five of them, or six of them, sorry. I was only going to go with four of the uh, jalapenos that I grew from seeds, but uh, I started going through them and I, mean, I just couldn't like throw them all away. <laughs> so I picked the best six of them out and planted them. My little uh, marker here, if you can see it or not. There we go. Here's one of the dragon cayennes. I got three of those. We'll see how they do. This one's actually bouncing back pretty good. It looks good. New growth, sprouting on the stem. Let's see. Let's work our way across here. Here's a Cajun bell. Pretty common, mild, spicy uh, pepper here. I think they're about the size of a, uh, like a habanero if I remember right. Here is a cow horn pepper. Yeah, cow horn. I have never had these. Uh, they're pretty common around here. You see them all the time for sale and stuff. But uh, I've never actually bought a, a plant. Let's see here. Moving on over here. Make sure I don't step on anything. This is a super chili. Again, one of those real common plants, chilies, peppers, that I've never had. Thought I'd try them out this year since I had the room. These are the Thai peppers. They're actually a different kind of Thai pepper called a Gong Bao. I've never had them. I guess they're pretty prolific growers also. I guess we'll find out. Carefully work my way across here. Here's one of the habaneros. It's doing okay. It's coming back. Here's the one of the bigger habaneros. Again, it's it's working its way back. This one, however, eh, yeah, I don't know. It's doing okay, I guess. But it could be doing better. Sorry about the neighbor mowing over here. As soon as I started filming, they started mowing. It's alright though. Here's one of the sickly little Carolina Reapers. There were four of them. Three of them I took out and I found some really nice ones at a local greenhouse. This is one of them right here. Looks really good. And there's uh, three of those. Now these are the plants that were from um, chiliplants.com. I hate to bash them because they're just probably having issues this year for whatever reason. Um, but they're just not that great this year. Although they are recovering. This is only week one, so they're doing okay. That's a Fatali. Here's a Naga Viper. Again, it's it's doing okay. It's coming back. Here's one of the Maruga scorpions. Again, it's working its way back. I hate to keep saying that, but they just didn't do all that well right away. Butch T. Let's 
not doing too bad. These are one of the ones that was underwater for way too long. <laughs> Here's another one. This one's actually coming back though. You can see good growth or new growth coming through there. Same way here. Starting to come back. Let's see here. Let me work my way around. This one I'm actually kind of worried about. This is the seven pot Dougla. Eek, looking kind of sad. But it is what it is. I mean, I think it'll come back. I don't know how much it'll produce this year because it had such a struggle here in the beginning. This is one of those weird ones. The XVILL pepper. Whatever in the world that's supposed to be. I don't know why they named it that. But it's, uh, it's bouncing back. Not too bad. As I fall down. Red Ghost. These things always do real well here. They always, uh, once they get a foothold, they usually take off pretty well. Chocolate Bootla here. Again, getting some growth on there. It's coming back. It's bouncing back. This one I was worried about too. Seven pot uh, primo yellow. Looking pretty sad. <laughs> but I gotta say it's it's hanging in there. I'm surprised. We'll see how it does. It's another one of those, you know, I don't know how well it's gonna do uh, in the long run, having to such a hard path to uh, recovery here. Now oh, let's see. Here's the caterpillar red. It's bouncing back also. You can see the growth on the uh, stem there. Not doing too bad. It's one of the real tall, linky ones. Here's an apocalypse pepper. Another one of those that's going to struggle. Kind of worried about. One's one of the not so great ones there. Another Maruga Scorpion. It's coming back. Maybe not the greatest looking right now, but I think it'll be fine. Jonah's Yellow Brain. I think it's a seven pot variety, but I'm not sure. I'm not doing too bad. Let's see, the last one here, I believe it's the last one, is the infinity pepper. Another hybrid pepper. Not doing too bad. But that's basically it, as far as the hot peppers go in the garden. Again, down there are, and along the edge here are sweet peppers. But I won't go over those. You can see it's all mulched now. Just a quick update to let you know what exa exactly is in the garden. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it very much. I just broke 100 subscribers, which I know some people might laugh at that, but it's a big deal to me. I really appreciate all you guys watching and uh, click that notification bell and support my channel. I almost forgot this little guy here. I, uh, I'm not 100% sure which variety of scorpion this is. If I can get it to focus. It just says scorpions, red venom, hot pepper. Not real sure if it's just a regular Trinidad Scorpion or a variety of the Trinidad Scorpion. Basically, it just says Scorpion's Red Venom. These tiny fruits are among the hottest group of peppers in the world. 
So I don't know if it's like a, like a mini Karanan Maruga or something like that. I don't know. I guess we'll find out together. Again, I just wanted to say thanks everybody for watching, supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.